Welcome to Tengsen Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development. As the current time of 9.53 a.m. on the Eastern Time on Sunday, April 23rd. Hope you guys have a good weekend so far. It's raining in New York City today, so I'm just uh, kind of staying home, catching up on work. And with respect to the overall crypto market, as you can see, we are relatively flat. Um, but obviously, if you have seen for Ethereum, we are experiencing more of a post-mortem effect from the you know, Shanghai updates. And obviously, we have seen an elevation of the price level that has been uh, rising relatively dramatically in the, I would say, the last week, reaching to a level of 2,150. Right, or at least approximating to a 2,143 to be exact. And right now, what we're seeing right now is just more of a normalization uh, across the market uh, with respect to Bitcoins also reaching to a lower level um, at 27,500 at the moment. So before we dive into technical, let's see what's going on on the market front. So it seems like across the spectrum, mostly trivial news. I'll talk about some of the consumer retail companies like Bad Bath & Beyond, like David's Brido, um, you know, a lot of these uh, companies that are brick and mortar front, you know, obviously it's, uh, it's rough when uh, inflationary pressure is rising. So uh, the products and the consumer goods are costs are rising, which, you know, with the increasing rates of the, um, you know, rental properties, uh, which, you know, a lot of these uh, companies, especially, you know, like Bath & Beyond and Target and Walmart and Kroger, depending on their uh, niche sector uh, of the industry that they're in, uh, they have to pay a higher level of rental payment on a month to month basis combined with higher uh, cost of goods sold. Um, is driving a lot of just margin compression across the spectrum, which technically will minimize their profit, um, you know, taking that the company will usually have, right? So when that happens, um, obviously it squeezes the companies to the point of, um, you know, on the verge of bankruptcy because they are sizable, but once they flip, they flip relatively dramatically, which drives this, these companies to be, you know, in the worrisome type of a level of, um, you know, uh, mitigate, uh, of maneuver. So, um it is what it is uh we'll, we'll see how how they will you know be maneuvering through maybe via debts maybe th um through just uh you know discounted acquisition from a target company so we'll see how that goes so let's just dive into technical to see uh what's going on with the market front respect to recording time of 9 56 a.m on the eastern time you can see that we are basically giving up everything that we've gained uh since the uh beginning of april 10th so you know basically a week you know we were leaping up because we were having this uh, mini golden cross but obviously this was mainly driven by shanghai updates rise to the next level 2050 but 2050 is not real level in comparison to 2150 which we could not get to and as you get there you know obviously people will sell off uh, as you were you know relatively high right at 70 out of 70 at one point as we you know kind of gave us each you know gave this guidance so far right and then coming down to the next level 2050 basically meet with the level but uh, obviously as we know 2050 is not a real level that's why it plunged through to the next level of support 1950 and then subsequent to not 1875 right so right now you can see that we're 43 out of 70 looking like we are we're for mcdef cross but the death cross you know you know it's uh, i would say is looking for a plateau right but in terms of plateau we haven't really officially formed it yet because it needs to kind of elongate to a flatter um like plane which we have not formed yet so um i would say you know it would be logical to start dcing around the current level uh 1750 uh anywhere around there we are the high echelon of the uh resistance level or the support level 1750 would technically be the near-term bottom from here on the weekly you could see that we're still in need of uh, basically we gave everything up right green candle red candle and uh, something we need to do is to basically cross down before we cross up right so you could see that we still have some room to come down from so 1750 again right uh, at the 56 out of 70 but monthly it is showing uh you know we've been plateauing for quite some time it is looking like we need to take off eventually so um 
not looking terrible. I think we are still in the transitionary uh, type of period. Uh, as we get closer to fall, we should technically uh, see elevations from here, uh, you know, aka the market rebound and where the bull market will initialize from there. On the Bitcoin side of the equation, I would say it's quite similar. Uh, monthly at 50 out of 70 on a monthly, looking like to cross up. Weekly, looking like we need to still cross down before we cross up. But it seems like Bitcoin has a little bit more of a higher uh, uh, drop to uh, 24 or 25,500 from here. Right. Um, and with respect to the daily, you could see that we're, mid you know, kind of normalizing back down. Uh, you could see that we clearly getting support at 27. Um, 500 but the next level down if we break it will be somewhere around like 25 and then subsequent to that 23 500 so something to be thinking about as you're DCing down from here okay and then on the index front let's take a look at the equity market before we just uh, go off with our days uh, you can see that monthly looking like we're about to cross up so look bull market seems to be coming around the corner um, weekly, you can see that this is clearly a reverse head and shoulder. This is the head, shoulder one, shoulder two. Uh, but unfortunately, we still need to kind of come back down before we go up, right? You can see that we have a false fake out. Um, you know, we were about to form a death cross to kind of complete the revolution, but we could not get to the revolution. So what we need is to wait for the next dump to back down to somewhere around 385 and uh, allow for this to be crossed down. So once we have the death cross to be formed, uh, then you can see that clearly on the daily is very big mega cross down that we're about to expect. Um, so as we cross down, we will be aligned on daily, weekly, and monthly. So the bull market still look like it's in play um, as we are reaching, uh, you know, by the end of this year, we should technically be um, in the middle of a beginning of a bull market. Okay, so appreciate you for joining me. Uh, apologies for not posting as consistently as I would like, but I really appreciate you for uh, making time today. Uh, I uh, and I'll catch up with you soon again uh, as I kind of maneuver through my uh, you know daily struggles that I have with a lot of just workload that I have in front of me. But I appreciate you uh, for your support and uh, have a good day. Take care. Bye.